Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Saturday, August 17th, 2024. The fire potential impacts for the next few days are shown here. For today, we're looking at wind across much of Nevada and up into uh, western and central Idaho. And then we have a return of showers and thunderstorms to Utah with wetter storms in the central and eastern half of the state and maybe some mixed wet dry storms uh, on, in the, in the uh, west. On Sunday, wind continues over Nevada and up into Idaho, and we see another wet day of showers and thunderstorms across Utah. On Monday, winds continue again over northern Nevada and up into the central Idaho mountains, and then we'll see some another round of showers and thunderstorms in mainly central and eastern Utah. Yesterday was pretty quiet for showers and thunderstorms across the Great Basin, but this morning we ha are already seeing storms developing across southern Nevada and southern Utah as the moisture moves northward. Recent fire activity is shown here with 12 fires for 20 acres in the past 24 hours and large fire growth of uh, just under 1,500 acres. ERCs are shown on this image. We can see the values are on the lower side across Utah, eastern Idaho, western Wyoming, and the east central Idaho mountains where recent precipitation has brought those values down. However, we still have some pretty dry spots out there, particularly across Nevada, uh, especially along the Sierra front. Some of our stations have dried out across southern Utah, but those will be coming back down again um, with, the re with the moisture surge starting today. And then some drier values in western and southwest Idaho. This morning's satellite imagery continues to show a big area of low pressure off the Pacific coast and then a high pressure located to the southeast. That's what's allowing moisture to be drawn back up into the Great Basin and then also wind coming into Nevada and up into western Idaho. Uh, these two features will be the main features in our weather forecast for the coming week. Taking a quick look at smoke here, we can see most of our skies have cleared out across Nevada, Utah, and to southern Idaho. Um, and most of the smoke that we have in the Great Basin is from our fires in central Idaho. So for today, we have high risk issued for wind across much of Nevada and up into western and central Idaho. Uh, today's winds will be quite gusty, and then we have moisture streaming into Utah um, from the south. Okay, looking at those afternoon gusty winds, we can see the, the winds are going to be pretty strong across much of Nevada with gusts 40 to 45 miles an hour possible in some areas. Um, and some breezy conditions up in Idaho as well. Not quite as strong to the north as in Nevada, but still, still definitely increase over what we've seen recently. And then we have some gusty outflow winds in Utah with any thunderstorms that do develop um, and up into eastern Idaho as well. Um, with the storms developing this morning in Nevada, uh, just expect winds to, um, gusty winds to follow up behind uh, those, any lightning strikes there. Relative humidities are high across Utah and even into eastern Nevada with pretty low values across Nevada and drying in Idaho. Max temperatures are pretty warm in Idaho today with highs near 99 degrees in Boise, a little bit cooler further south um, and east. And then our 24-hour precipitation expectation is here on the right with precip across much of the state of Utah and into uh, eastern Nevada. Tomorrow more the same as expected with continued gusty winds into Nevada and up uh, in Idaho and then another round of showers and thunderstorms across the eastern half of the basin. So we're looking at the gusty winds again tomorrow. Maybe not quite as widespread or quite as strong tomorrow as we're expecting today, but still breezy across Idaho and quite gusty in Nevada. And then gusty outflow winds are expected with the thunderstorms once again in Utah. And storms will move up into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming on Sunday. On Monday, the low pressure still remains in place over the Pacific Northwest, keeping dry gusty winds in Nevada and up into Idaho. Um, and then moisture still remains in Utah and up into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. So gusty winds once again on Monday, a little bit stronger winds across the central Idaho mountains expected on Monday. Um, and the winds taper off just a bit in Nevada. And still uh, some showers and thunderstorms over mainly Utah up into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Um, on Monday the, the showers will be decreasing a little bit in coverage from uh, Saturday and Sunday. The three-day precip totals are shown here. Uh, very clear to see another good monsoon surge up into Utah and western Wyoming with some showers uh, on the periphery here in eastern Idaho and, and eastern Nevada that will be kind of more mixed wet dry. 
on Tuesday, low pressure still stays over the Pacific Northwest, again, keeping winds gusty over northern Nevada and up into some areas of Idaho. Um, maybe a, a little bit of a break day for showers and thunderstorms in Utah. And then on Wednesday, the moisture returns to Utah. The, the um, low pressure trough still remaining in place, strengthening a bit, bringing another round of gusty winds to much of Nevada and, and up into much of central and, and western Idaho again. And then on Thursday, that <laughs> the pattern doesn't change a whole lot. We do expect gusty winds again on Thursday, but haven't issued the high risk yet, just it's, it's, it's a little bit far out. Um, but the low pressure is still in place, keeping things dry and breezy in the western half of the Great Basin and showers returning to Utah. On Friday, that low dives a little bit further south into northern California, um, keeping breezy conditions in Nevada. We'll see if we get any bit, any bit of um, increase in relative humidity or precip into western Nevada, but this is a little far out to have any confidence in the solution. Uh, seven day totals are shown here. Again, just um, continued showers and thunderstorms mainly to the higher elevations of Utah and across the state uh, up into eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Still dry over Nevada. Um, and then we'll be watching for any moisture that um, comes into central Idaho. It won't be until late in the forecast period if it does. Then the extended forecast for August 24th through the 30th um, keeps above normal temperatures across the entire United States um, and above normal precip to the Pacific Northwest. And the still, still showing this increase in um, precipitation trends to southern and southeast Utah. That concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.